Hello there, beautiful people. How's it going? I have some good news. Well, to be honest, I have some news that I enjoyed reading about. You people are much better people than I, so you may not enjoy it as much. It turns out that the United Kingdom and Australia might actually be surpassing the land of the free and the home of the brave. Well, at least in one metric. It appears that they have successfully recovered from the deadly disease known as BuzzFeed. Yup, the BuzzFeed has closed its operations there. Before going into the details, here's a little bit of the schadenfreude just for me to enjoy. BuzzFeed is not the only progressive publication going through some very hard times. Vice also going through some uh, pretty bad times, one of their deepest losses in a while. Now going back to whether good morally sound people such as yourself should partake in this episode of Schadenfreude, um, anyone who loses their jobs is never good. But these are people whose specialty, at least for the last 4 or 5 years and probably much longer than that, has been creating outrage so that hard working and in a lot of occasions working class people lose their jobs. So I find it very difficult to muster any kind of sympathy for these activists LARPing as journalists. Uh, that being said, there are some bad things I think we should probably make note of. Now Vice, they cite coronavirus to be the main cause and BuzzFeed says it's the economy and that's probably true but I also feel they're not likely to admit that their business strategy of constantly demonizing working class westerners are making them hemorrhage audience members. So there's a good amount of collateral damage. Now I'm sure there are unfortunately people who got caught in the crossfire that should not have been. I'm guessing there are people that just wanted a job writing about video games or food or travel and unfortunately their publications have been losing audience because they're constantly demonizing political opponents. And I, I feel bad, I guess, for these people. Now, also on a sad note, these publications started out, especially Vice, initially tried to be a voice for the counterculture. This was supposed to be a potential alternative to the big boys of the establishment publications. And over the years, they just really wanted to be more and more like your mainstream publications, like your Washington Post, your New York Times, and. It's really sad to see the trajectory that these uh, publications have taken. Now, I guess the important thing I have to ask to the American people, are you seriously going to let the Brits and Aussies have bragging rights over freedom-loving Americans? Is the US really going to be supporting the cancer that is BuzzFeed? This is an important societal question for the good people of America after this corona thing blows over. Maybe you all need to think about some of the other contagious diseases in the country. Well, that's all I had for today. Take care, y'all. Until next time. And uh, press some of the buttons that people press. They're down below. It'll help me stay in touch with y'all.